Hey guys, my name is Jason from New Orleans. If you're gonna to be towing a trailer with your Mitsubishi Outlander, you've gotta have lights on it, it's the law. So I'm gonna show you how easy the install is. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Mitsubishi made this um, install really easy by having a tow harness right here behind the driver's side tail light, right behind this panel. We're gonna start by removing the floor paneling. So next we're gonna remove the storage tray here. There's a Phillips screw here and here that needs to be removed. All right guys, now we're gonna remove this um, earth threshold here and it just pulls up pretty easily. So these are the clips here. When, be careful not to damage them when you pull it out. All right, so there's two Phillips screws holding the driver's side panel in here and here. We're gonna remove those. All right guys, now we're gonna remove this toe clip here with a Phillips screwdriver as well. Now we're gonna remove this um, driver's side panel right here. Just pull back on it. So actually it looks like there's only one pin and it's right here. All right guys, this is your factory tow harness right here that you're gonna be plugging into. It's just taped to the other wires, so you'll just um, remove the tape to loosen it up. And now we'll plug it in. Make sure you hear it click. All right, now we're gonna ground our white wire with the tap screw that was included in the kit. All right, so there's two variations of this wiring harness. Some may have a fuse holder here, some may not. Ours does, so we're gonna put a 10 amp fuse in it. All right, now that we have it installed, let's talk about storing your four flat. You can either leave it down here in the cargo area or you can run it down to your hitch. We're gonna show you how to run it down to your hitch. So there's a air vent right here with two little grates in it. We're gonna cut one of these grates so your four flat can fit through there and run down to your hitch. All right, now that we've got that cut, we're just gonna push it through. All right, so now that we're done with that, we're um, gonna put everything back together in the cargo area. All right guys, what we don't wanna do is we don't wanna um, wrap our wire around here or zip tie it or do anything crazy because um, it just looks pretty unprofessional. Um, what we're gonna use is a four flat bracket. They're really inexpensive and it makes it look really professional. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a hole right here. So 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this screw in the hole that we drilled. Then we'll put this up like this. We're gonna attach this lightly. And then we'll drill our next hole. We're gonna go ahead and snug this up with a 3-8 socket. So I slid our provided dust cover on and then we're just gonna run it up through here. All right guys, so now we're just gonna clean up our slack with some zip ties. So our next step is to power the converter box. We're gonna use the supplied battery terminal connector and fuse holder that was in the kit. And we're gonna plug it in right down here. So we're gonna press down on this tab here to remove this cap from the connector and then we're gonna plug this in. Now we're gonna route this following the existing wiring harnesses underneath the air duct here. We're gonna connect it to this positive terminal here. All right, now we're gonna remove this nut with a 12 millimeter socket. Now we're just gonna set this here and put the nut back on. Be sure not to make this too tight or you will break it. All right, now we're gonna insert our 10 amp fuse into the fuse holder. All right, and that completes our install. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions about the product seen in this video, or if you would like to schedule an install with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, Visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.